Hello everyone and welcome back to the tech stack channel. So today we'll try to install this uh, agent download. So why you are using this agent download now? For example, if you want to run any automation, so we need to be should be the one connector should be available. So how we have this UI path agent, uh, we have that one now. So similar way we have this uh, a desktop agent. So we need to install this one. So once we install that, so we are able to run that. We need to add that agents, that things. So once you add that, all the things, so it will create. So now we'll how to uh, download this one and how we can add this. So as of now, if you see, uh, if you see in my machine, so there is no desktop agent, nothing is there. Okay. So we'll install that and we'll go with the flow how we deliver. If you got any errors, how we can check this one right away. So you can just type in Google uh, SAP desktop agent download. After this, you can see this one SAP desktop agent uh, business process automation. You can select this. So once you select it, it will navigate to some other page. Okay, so you can see this one. They give these uh, steps how you can do what you, you want to do these things. After this, you can just you can click this uh, one link. Okay, once you click on that link, so you can able to see come uh, some couple of the things is available here. Okay just go and go back to that thing and now what uh, it's saying so this is already we added this one this is the done so in first tutorial we added this SAP okay. build process automation so now we are in this page so we just click this so after this we can see this one so search for SAP automation desktop agent and download the file so you can see this SAP process automation desktop agent 3 for trial okay just go uh, dead end downside here and we can see this SAP process automation desktop agent for uh, agent three for trial. So right now I'm recording it, it might be available here might be uh, when you after a couple of days, it might be changed to some other position. So just uh, refer this uh, link. I will put this in description. Okay. After this, what it is showing operating system and version. So files of this version will be also might be changed. They will updating now. So version might be the different. So you can see this one operating windows uh, xn64 so it's a 64 bit so i think it not work for this uh, 32 bit so make sure that while you are downloading so i have this operating system and i have this version right now if you see this 3.24.54 version so when i go and check here they have this uh, different version so these types of changes will occur uh, when you are downloading at the at the time okay now just click on this and okay it's do this i have read i have agreed okay now it's downloading so i will select this and i will put this in okay this will take some time to download okay after this what they given so run the download file and install the agent into the local machine so once it is downloaded i need to go that particular file and i will run this one after we'll see uh what type okay next okay it has downloaded i will just click on here right away so it's opened and you can see this uh, sap desktop agent setup so where we you can set up this all the things so click on next uh now it installing so we need to wait for a couple of minutes and sometimes i have noticed that uh, when you are installing it is not able to install uh, slightly it loading from uh, till here and again it move to the back or else it will till here again it moving the back so at that time if you're facing those kind of issues just restart your machine and delete this agent from there so where you're downloading you can just delete that one and uh, restart that machine and you can uh, just uh, re-download and try that so it will install so just click on that finish and it's asking sap build automation a chrome extension should be added just enable the extension so that's it okay this is done after what he's saying once you install you will receive the pop-up active on the browser extension so i got this browser extension and i will open this edge as well so most of the times so we are working with edge only uh here we can skip this chrome okay just open this and you can see this um sap business automation edge added this just turn on this uh, extensions okay now it added just close this okay next what he's saying so click uh, on so activated enable as shown as below so you can go this home productivity okay anyway it's got it's added now the what is he is saying from local machine run the installed agent okay just press windows button and you can type desktop and you can see this desktop agent so just click on that run it will run okay now if you see this uh, desktop agent has this done and the my mode is and second why it's not okay i am not able to move this and you can see this my mode is attended mode because i have the licenses that, like that 
okay after what he saying once you install it open a local mission agent okay sab btp subscribe already we subscribed everything is done okay now we can go this cloud okay add tenant is there now so just click this add tenant what he is saying to achieve this step in the image okay enter a tenant my try loose so let me okay it gone went you can check here uh, where it is this okay you can check this this is a symbol of that uh, agent okay mm, just click on this add tenant and enter the domain copy your from the sap build automation so just click this add tenant and they mention as um, you can add any name so as of now i'm taking that one so just click on that save and what is asking it's asking url okay i will just launch this uh, maybe it will add by default i think so mm -hmm. okay these are all things here uh go back to this uh, sap build uh, and control tower after this we can see this agent okay from this agent uh, will get some link uh, register agent yeah this is the correct and just copy and close and go back to again desktop okay let it be agent okay now add tenant i'm giving this test tenant okay test that's fine and already i copied the domain now so just i'm updating this domain uh, just click on that save it will okay okay now it's validated and it's add this test tenant okay now go to home uh, the version right now it has in your machine uh, in in this machine in this particular machine we can see this version has been installed so if you want change you can go and change the uh, there automatically it will reflect that is a different thing and this is a home uh, what type of details are available so this and all warnings uh okay why this warning means uh, just now we tried now so it got failed that is the one warning and after this information we can see this uh agent started agent is starting so those kind of information is available here now again back to home and okay these are all done now when you go information agent details okay this is the agent details and you can see this the my machines all under and settings um uh, this have this so we have the multiple uh, kind of modes uh, you can activate it as per this so as of now we are completely go with this uh, attendant mode only and this is the things history uh, what happened the events when you run jobs for example if you run any automations we can able to see this here and reports so what uh, some kind of reports are available you can go and when you check here so this is my tenant if you want add another tenant you can just give this uh, take a stack and giving the same url we'll try that okay uh, so when you check this this domain is already available so just cancel it and i will remove and uh, let me edit okay i will change this to take a stack if you want you can uh, add and edit these names okay now this is a way how we can add this uh, tenant so now just click here the same thing is available so now we added the tenant this one so next class i mean next session we we'll try to run that automation previously when you're running that we got error now we'll try that run and we'll check what the things are need to be enabled if it is working fine then okay if not we'll check that as well if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload